This is Scorpio's love reading for January 2018. All right, starting with singles. So singles, what I see is that there's someone from your past that I don't know if you dated them before or if they were just a friend. It could be either or or both of those situations, okay? Unbeknownst to you, this person is your soulmate, okay? Um, it's someone that you trust implicitly, you're attracted to, um, and there's an element of codependency with this person, so you would have um, had some sort of addiction to them in, in, in your past, or, um, or you guys just maybe, like, if you guys were best friends or something, you would have, like, spent every waking moment together. Um, so, it's that sort of situation. They're gonna come back into your life, and they're going to, um, it's gonna be, like, a brand new love. So, either the relationship, if it was romantic in the past, it will be renewed, and it will feel like a new love. Or if this person was just your friend, you'll suddenly realize that you're in love with them or that and that you have been in love with them um, and you just didn't know it. Uh, so when they come in, you will have to keep an open mind about the relationship because, you know, I think maybe there will be some, um, like, reluctance because maybe like of things that happened in the past or um or just like if it's just a friend maybe you don't want to ruin the friendship you know that sort of thing so um but keep an open mind because um they're your soulmate so i mean it you should make the effort put the effort into the relationship um because you'll you know you'll really be able to trust this person um, you know, that's a, a huge issue for Scorpios is that, you know, they, they really need to trust the person and this person you can trust and, you know, they won't ever make you feel, um, like they don't need you because they, they certainly will. There, there's codependency between the two of you. Um, and you know, you just got to work on letting go of the control issues, um, you know, I know it's hard for Scorpios to kind of let go and let down the, that wall and let that vulnerability be there. But with this person, you can do that because they need you. They trust you. You can trust them. You need them, you know, and, um, I mean, the attraction's there. Uh, you know, so... There should be nothing that should hold you back, okay, from letting this happen. So, just go with the flow. And, um, you know... Accept this soulmate into your life. And enjoy the time you have with this person. Because it will be really good. It will be really good for you. Okay? Uh, uh, moving on to couples. So couples, what I see is that you're currently with your soulmate. And you may have had some, uh, recent fights or disagreements. Um, but you always come back to each other. There's there's going to be a reconciliation if you guys have had any sort of fights or disagreements in the recent past. Um, you know, you guys are soulmates. You're attracted to each other. And, you you know, you guys trust each other. You, you need each other. And you always will put that, make that effort and put that effort into the relationship to, you know, uh, keep it going. But, I mean, I would say that, you know, whatever fight or disagreement you you had it definitely has something to do with control issues um and 
what I believe it is is that there you're trying to keep control over the direction of the relationship okay um, and I do believe that there could have been talks about children okay um, and it's also um, I mean, maybe talks about marriage if you're not married already, um, but I, I do, I, I get an overwhelming feeling that it's more about children, but, um, in general, it's about the control over the direction of the relationship or, like, the level of commitment that is going to be made, um, and you really need to work on keeping an open mind about whatever your partner's um, request is or whatever they are thinking that they need or, um, or that they want from you. You really need to keep an open mind about it and try to understand it from their point of view, okay? Don't be so controlling, okay? Um, because this is your soulmate and you can trust them. You can trust their judgment. You can trust anything that they're, you know, making a request of you or uh, wanting from you. So you may not think that, that you guys can handle it, that you guys could, um, Uh, make it work or make it last or whatever you know the request is doesn't matter because it's it's you not putting the full trust in whatever your partner's asking of you or telling you okay so like you need to rely on your partner and and let your partner know that like you hear them and that's how this re reconciliation reconciliation is going to come about because there's going to cut you guys are going to come to um uh some sort of agreement some sort of uh equal ground um compromise um it could be that you agree to have kids okay or it could just be that you guys will agree to if like if you if the complaint was about taking something to the next level or something like that but you're not entirely on board with like maybe legal marriage or anything like that you guys would like compromise and agree to like always make the effort to make it feel like it's new love that it's like a um, like we're in a brand new relationship and never letting anything get stale, uh, always keeping it spicy, you know, that sort of thing. Uh, so that's all I'm going to say is just keep an open dialogue with your partner, put all your trust in them, you know, because they, they will not let you down. Okay. And, um, Loosen up on the reins a little bit. Let the relationship go where it needs to go, okay? If you keep trying to shut it down, you know, like and put up a roadblock, that's going to frustrate your partner. You know, they need to know that the relationship can go where it needs to go. Even if that means marriage, children, um, serious commitment, you know that sort of stuff okay so um that's all i got so hope you like it and let me know if uh you like a personal reading and uh, thanks for listening